Now that we've created our variables, we need to do something called initialize them. Now what that means is we need to tell the game what we want them to be at the start of the game. Um, now I want my speed to be 4, the speed of the ball is going to be 4 at the start of the game, and my score is going to start on 0. So to initialize our variables, I always do this on the stage, so click stage, and you'll see you've got a script panel there, and here is your pseudocode for initializing the variables. Again, go and have a go. If you're not sure, keep watching the video. So don't forget we're on the stage um, and we have our three parts of the code to initialize our variables. This drop down means you can choose which variable you're dealing with there. So if you drag this across from the data tab, um, it might say speed, but you can always change it to score. Have a go at arranging that yourself. If you're not sure, keep watching. Okay, this is a fairly simple one to arrange when the green flag is clicked at the top, and it really doesn't matter which order you put those variables in. We're going to set speed to 4 and score to 0 at the start of the game. So if I click the green flag now, then it should set my speed to 4 and my score should be 0. Perfect. Okay, when you're ready, move on.